Hello guys, this is Nick from Tease Prof. Happy to be back here, long time no see. In this video we continue speaking about the abrasive materials and this part is going to be dedicated to diamonds on the galvanic binder. If you haven't seen our previous episodes about other abrasive materials, here is the link above. You will not waste your time watching them. So today let's find out what diamonds on the galvanic binder actually are, how they work and dive into their advantages and disadvantages. Let's get started. What does the galvanic mean? In other words, it's called electroplanting, which is an electrochemical method of processing materials, which consists in applying a thin surface film uh, of another metal to a metal product. In sharpening, we widely use diamond stones, which can have different bonds like organic, metal, or galvanic. Galvanic bonding is a deposition method in which diamond particles are attached to a substrate to be coated, and a layer of a metal bonding is deposited from the electrolyte, enclosing and fixing the diamond grains. The method makes it possible to obtain diamond-containing coatings on complex shaped surfaces and create thin up to 0.4 mm diamond-containing elements and coatings. Nickel is the metal that securely holds the abrasive grain on the steel body. It gives the tool high strength, durability and performance. Diamonds on the galvanic binder are very good in the steel removal. For example, if you need to change the sharpening angle for repair or roughing works to get rid of jams or chips on the blade, or if it's the initial sharpening of a workpiece of a new knife. So in this case, they are definitely the great solution. They work noticeably more aggressively and faster than bars on organic or uh, metal bonds with the same grain size. This is achieved due to the protruding diamond grains, while the diamond grains in organic or uh, metallic bonds are sunk in the binder and mixed with it. And concentration of grain sizes in the layer is 100%. Plates on a galvanic bond do not require any preparation for work. No grain shearing, no flattening, which is a big advantage when speaking about saving time. And what's also cool here is that they work dry without any liquids, so they do not pollute your workspace. If stones get dirty, you can simply rinse them under running water. This can be a good solution for those ones who are at the early stage of sharpening. All in all, they are effective and, what's more important, quite cheap solution for quick sharpening. At the same time, we have to say that, in terms of the duration of work, such bars will be inferior to bars on organic or metal binders, due to a thin layer of spraying, which is actively erased during sharpening. By the way, some of our kits are equipped with this kind of stones, so you will be able to start sharpening right after you assemble your tool. There is a lot of types and brands of the diamond stones on the galvanic binder, but generally speaking, they don't differ too much. Uh, as a rule, the more layers a stone has, uh, the longer its work in life, and respectively, it is reflected in the price. Diamonds on the galvanic binder can be combined with any other stones. For example, you can take them for roughing works, but for finishing, uh, you can take any other wet stones or diamonds, depending on the steel you sharpen and depending on the tasks. Thank you for watching guys, we would be happy to know if you are using diamonds on the galvanic bonds and how you are satisfied with them right there in the comments below. If this video was helpful to you, give it a like as well. So next time we are going to be talking about diamonds on the organic binder. So subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a new episode. Take care and stay sharp.